Welcome once again. In today's gospel, we hear that the scribes come up to Jesus and say, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus says in words that we're familiar with, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, if I were to ask the question, do you love God? I'll bet most of us would say, without hesitation, of course I love God. And if I were to ask the question, do you love your neighbor? We would probably answer, probably not as quickly, but we would say, yes, I love my neighbor. I try very hard to love my neighbor. That's more difficult than loving God, but I, but I still do it. But what if I ask the question in this way? Do I love my neighbor as much or in the same ways that I love God? I think our answer to that question might be more like, uh-oh. And yet that's what Jesus is asking of us today in this gospel reading. And this is what makes loving God and loving neighbor a hard thing. Because notice right after Jesus says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, he says, there is no other commandment greater than these. So what he's doing is equating love of God and love of neighbor. He's saying that we can judge the quality of our love for God by the quality of our love for God's people. It is that simple. If we love God, we love the neighbor. And that means all of our neighbors. That means every person on this earth. And so that's what's hard. And yet that's something that... Uh, Jesus challenges us to do every day, to love God, to love God with all our soul, mind, and strength, and heart. But then Jesus challenges us to love God's people as much and in the same ways as we love God.